Welcome to The Open Word, an online ministry of Boone Open Bible Church. On today's program, we bring you a word from the pastor featuring Phil Waldo. And now, here's Phil. Hey everybody, Pastor Phil here. As we're learning more about hearing God's voice, we have seen that circumstances and consequences are sometimes used by God to get our attention. These are external factors God uses to communicate with us. Another external factor that God uses is counsel. Proverbs 15:22 says, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed. When you're facing a decision, sharing it with someone else helps all by itself. God puts a lot of coaches along the sidelines for us during our life here on earth. The believer ought to recognize when the fourth and one situations are present and take a time out, go to the sidelines, and talk to a coach. It may be your mom, dad, pastor, teacher, or just a close friend whom you respect. Get your counsel and advice from those on your team. And when you get to your sidelines, go to the coach, not to the water boy or the four string tackle who has played only seven minutes all season. God uses wise counsel to guide us in his ways. One more external factor God uses to, to speak to us is what I call cowabunga moments. These are the fun ones. When something especially unusual happens and God speaks to us. There are a few examples in the Bible. Probably the most famous one was when God spoke to Moses through the burning bush in Exodus 3. Another crazy time, a donkey spoke on God's behalf to Balaam in Numbers 22. If either of those happened to me, I think it would freak me out. <laughs> but there are a couple more cowabunga moments that aren't quite as radical. Dreams and visions. Job 33, 14 and 15 says, For God does speak, now one way, now another, though man may not perceive it, in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falls on men as they slumber in their beds. God spoke to a number of people in the Bible through dreams and visions. In fact, dreams are mentioned in the Bible 77 times and visions 70 times. Now, to be clear, not every dream is God speaking to us. Most are just normal part of our sleep patterns. However, there are times when a dream is especially vivid and detailed, which might indicate that God is communicating to us especially if it relates to important events happening in your life at the time. I've actually experienced this a few times, and it's pretty cool when it happens. God speaks in a variety of ways, some of which are common, such as wise counsel. Other times, God may use something more extreme, like a dream or a vision, a cowabunga moment, to speak to us. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.